Hey guys, Q&A number two. So first question is, thoughts on TRT, age, dosage, positive side effects, negative side effects. So TRT stands for testosterone replacement therapy. A lot of women do estrogen replacement therapy when they're going through menopause and things like that. Uh, a lot more men these days are doing some TRT stuff to combat the kind of the negative effects to reducing testosterone as they age. So as far as age, dosage, um, can't say, you'd have to talk to your doctor about that. Uh, when, you'd have to get your testosterone tested for, for one. Um, I'm always a fan of maximizing what you can do kind of with the basics and naturally. So how are you sleeping? How's your stress management? How's your nutrition? And are you moving and lifting weights? So you can get a whole lot of bang for your buck out of just those regular things and maximizing testosterone. Also, um, you know, where's your alcohol intake at? Um, that has a huge effect on testosterone levels. So um, there, the negative side effects are, you know, you do get some testicular shrinkage. Uh, your body stops producing testosterone because it has an outside source basically. So positive side effects is you're probably gonna put on some muscle, you're gonna feel really good. Um, but again, do you, you know, do you wanna be injecting testosterone or taking testosterone, you know, basically for the rest of your life? There is some natural uh, reduction in testosterone as we age and I'd say that's normal. So um, yeah, tough one to, to really comment on. Can't say dosage is gonna depend on the person. And also I'm a fan of maximizing uh, the natural uh, way to kind of maximize or the natural way to get the most bang for your buck out of, you know, nutrition, sleep, stress management, exercise. Number two, thoughts on supplementing with iron. So a lot of women are, find themselves low iron. Um, iron is one of the only things that we really test for. So a lot of women have low energy. They go in, oh, your iron might be low. Um, that could be, but a lot of the time, low iron is a, a tell for just an across the board absorption, absorption issue. So um, you're not absorbing, you know, maybe a, possibly a lot of things like vitamins, minerals, you know, all sorts of different nutrients. So before you just start supplementing with iron, I would fix the diet and make sure your gut is in check and it's healthy. You're tolerating all the foods that you're eating. And then if you're still having energy issues or a low iron issue, then you can think about supplementing with it. But again, kind of relates to, to the last question with the TRT is maximize those basics first before you just start, you know, oh, I'm just going to take a supplement. Well, how are you eating? How are you sleeping? You know, how's your stress? All that sort of stuff. So maximize that food first and get that gut absorbing, uh, your stomach absorbing all those nutrients uh, effectively. Number three, do carbs late at night negatively affect fat loss goals? Does it matter when you eat your carbs for fat loss? The shorter answer is no, doesn't matter. Um, assuming that your carbohydrate intake and your calorie intake is the same throughout the whole day, it doesn't matter when you eat them. I'd almost argue for eating some of your carbs later at night just because with lifestyle, um, compliance, and then improved sleep, you can have some, some great benefits from that. So. Um, lifestyle, typically you're going to go out to, to dinner more so than breakfast or lunch. So you might want to, you know, kind of move some of those carbs to later on in the day. Compliance, same sort of deal with the, with the lifestyle is that it's, we find ourselves hungry and more so kind of craving later at night as opposed to, you know, during the work day or something like that. So you kind of set yourself up with a bigger meal or a larger carbohydrate meal towards the end of the day. And then also that can benefit with sleep having you know, a bigger portion of carbs closer to bedtime. So I like to do that with my clients and it's just kind of, it's more of a lifestyle deal um, as opposed to any sort of benefits with fat loss or whatever, but uh, more so compliance. So yeah, that's all three. If you guys have any questions, uh, send them my way, Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube in the comment section below or just email me. So uh, thanks for watching. See ya.